Hey everybody, I'm back. You didn't think you'd get rid of me, did you? Um, yeah, I wanted to give everyone an update on what's going on. It's summer in Seattle. I'm enjoying the summer. And uh, I wish it were a little bit warmer, but, you know, you can't get everything all the time. Um, I did something fun. I did my nails. So they have these really cool pattern on them. Can you see that? Um, I did it with a friend of mine. Uh, that it's like this Korean doodad. You uh, you have this metal disc, and you that's got a bunch of different prints on it. And you wipe on the nail polish, and then you like scrape it flat, and then you take this rubber stamper and you stamp it off of this metal disc, and then onto your fingers. It's totally cool. And um, you know, I need to do more fun things for myself. Um, I've, uh, I'm, s I've been recovering for a long time now. It's been like three and a half months, um, since my surgery. And, um, I still kind of feel like I'm in the middle of recovery. Like it's, it's kind of annoying because, uh, <laughs> because I don't feel a hundred percent quite yet. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm not working full time yet. And, um, uh, I am working and I'm doing cool projects and I actually have, I mean, I want to talk about my projects, but I kind of want to do it properly with, you know, graphics and links and stuff. And, uh, um, so I want to talk more about the things I've been doing, um, which is making games and, um, um, I mean, I, I mean, I've been focusing on my recovery. Like I'm dilating twice a day now. Um, I'm feeling pretty physically capable. Like I talked about in my last video, doing a little bit of exercise. I'm trying to walk every day. I'm trying to um, get some sun every day, do things to keep my mood up. Um, I still feel like I've had a bit of post-op depression, you know, on and off over the last, or since my surgery. And um, I mean, it's exhausting. It's exhausting to deal with. And, and, I, don't, and I don't want to be a depressed person. I want to be an amazing person. I think everyone should want to be an amazing person. And you know, I mean, I uh, trans people are amazing people, if you think about it. Like we, we are all, I'm not trying to be a spokesperson for trans people. Um, and I'm not trying to represent uh, every trans person in the world. But from the stories that I've heard, trans people talking about their lives, there's this, there's this trend that trans people have to be amazing every day, have to be amazing people just, just to get up and get dressed and go to work, uh, as our true selves, we have to be amazing. Um, and I think that it's, it's pretty great that the universe invites us to be amazing every day. Um, and, uh, uh, yeah, I, I, I remember in Denmark and I remember in Seattle feeling like an amazing person. Um, but lately I've just been spending a bunch of time recovering, uh, dilating and, uh, and you know, just still taking it one day at a time. It's, it's, you know, like I said, I want to be amazing and uh, taking it one day at a time, it doesn't seem, it's not the where, it's not where I want to be. I want to be back wh where I was, where I had my own place and I was working all the time and taking care of myself and taking care of my kitty who's over here and, um, you know, having a life. Like I'm, I'm, I'm basically living a life now of recovery where I'm, I'm spending most of my time at the house. I'm spending a lot of time sitting down, not getting a lot of exercise, and um, you know, it 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 it, it ta it's taxing, it's taxing, um, and I guess I shouldn't really feel bad about admitting that that's where I am, um, and I think that not everyone is at that point. I think lots of people who have surgery are past that point. Uh, they're, they're more back into the swing of their lives, um, at three and a half months. And that's great. I'm not though. I'm not there. Um, and I want to be there. And, uh, that dichotomy is, eh, 
ah, well, it makes me feel like I'm not doing it good enough. But I, I have to remind myself that that's not the case. That we don't have to, like, there's, that there's no such thing as good enough. Like, it just, we just are. I am just, I am. And you are, you just are. So, um... I am really, really trying to consistently look at the glass as half full instead of half empty. And I think I'm doing pretty well at that lately. I'm, I'm happy about that. Um, I'm not sure I have much else to talk about tonight. Uh, I do want to check in with everyone more. I guess I will, I will finish off by saying that I have been trying to keep up with all my mailing. Um, I'm, I'm reading all my mails. I'm not able to write back to everybody. Um, and, but I want to thank you all for writing and thank you for supporting me. And I, I really hope to be, okay, the truth is that that even though it's been hard, it's been a very creative time for me. And I'm not ready to share uh, that creativity here yet, but I will. And I will pretty soon. Um, but in the meantime, just know that I'm watching. I'm still around. Um, and thank you for having me. And uh, I will finish off with that. So thank you. And I will see you next time.